Hi guys, I'm Ana Subia and I'm at the Northeast Film Fest Horror Fest and today I'm here with Trey Taylor and Rich and Bergio. Perfect, and you guys are with the film Heavy Burdens. Could you tell me a little bit about your film for those who haven't seen it yet? So our film is uh, about a former henchman who gets a call from a uh, former boss. He's getting a call and he, he has to relive and recount some of his uh, odd jobs that he had to deal with, uh, which uh, actually had to deal with him killing these people and uh, taking them down. Uh, so he has to relive them, recount them. Uh, for without without any any specific reason, there isn't really any um, reason why I mentioned. It's just it's all kind of left a mystery until the end, for until the big reveal. So the whole through film is just kind of figuring out like the details and just kind of bits and pieces throughout the film and just trying to figure out why is he so afraid? Why is he not want to talk about this uh, kind of details and everything? And why the boss, usually someone who's so stoic and so just kind of not you know showing emotion, is so just kind of distraught about. Uh, this kind of information. Okay, that's awesome. So a lot of like psychological horror and really like getting into the emotions of things. Yeah. Uh, so what was your inspiration behind this film? Uh, inspiration for the film, I uh, definitely just wanted to do something very concise. Uh, just kind of use visuals, not uh, try to just kind of not have everything be explained. I want. I really like the fear of the unknown. Uh, with my film, just kind of like just movies like The Thing, where just like you're not sure like what. Uh, what lies beyond and just like why these two people are so much fear or just kind of like why they're so traumatized about this uh, past job especially if this is something that they do all the time like why was this specifically the one that really like gets like in their head uh, other stuff I also kind of want to do like kind of like a little bit just like sci-fi extraterrestrial because I, I don't want to spoil too much but it's just it's, it's just I kind of want to just kind of like do something where like it's a short simple like kind of concept it's just two people on a phone call uh, arguing and screaming with it you know I'm just going through the motions and all that uh, just want to really focus on just kind of like dealing with the dynamic of two characters while also having really good visuals uh, to go with it well that's awesome it sounds like you guys really want to keep the audience on the edge of their seat during this so what like uh, tactics did you guys use to do that <laughs> um, well I guess I could say on the, on the camera end because uh, I worked with our uh, brilliantly talented DP uh, Derek mm -hmm. Myers a lot about just crafting I think there were always, you know, I think a lot of times it went back to a lot of like certain, um, because it feels more on the psychological side and it's about atmosphere, almost like noirish, like styles of lighting and, and shades uh, that that kind of paint through that I think he um, managed to portray really well of just like having certain characters, you know, be shown like the boss in the beginning of just kind of seeing an edge of his face. You almost get the sense before anything is really like uh, manifesting that there's just something that's, you know, off about this reality. A lot of foreshadowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have you guys worked together before? How long have you? We uh, actually, it's funny, uh, we um, we know each other from Brooklyn College. Uh, okay. We both graduated at the same time. Um, but I think we initially met at an orientation. We kind of like, <laughs> we, we had moments where we looked at each other and just yeah. kind of looked away. And then at some point, we just kept bumping into each other, and uh, like we just eventually, like after one like one uh, class, we just we just kind of like turned back, and we just started talking and be like, okay, you keep, we keep appearing, <laughs> you, you, you keep following me, and somehow uh, after all that, we've been friends for like four or five years. Yeah, yeah. We've, yeah, we've yeah. done we've done multiple projects together. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Always always very proud and happy with how Alana came out. He's also extremely talented as well that this this was just kind of like my my uh, thesis uh, project for Brooklyn College so I I don't have that many projects under my belt but he uh, he was definitely a huge inspiration and definitely was a huge motivator uh, just being able to like make a huge project like pre-production regular production post-production it's 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 it, it was something that I hadn't like, really experienced before it takes a lot of work it really does and um, sorry I totally spaced that um, Whoa, my question just is gone. I had a great question for you guys, but I guess I'll just ask, um, do you guys have social media that people could follow along for, with? Yes, uh, I have uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram is uh, T-R-E underscore zero nine. Uh, you can follow me there. I also have Heavy Burdens on Vimeo as well. You can find it on... Um, should be um, it, you can find it linked on my Instagram if you, if you go there. But it, if you go look for like Trey Taylor James, uh, that that should be my account name, and then the name will be Heavy Burdens. Um, but that that's most of my social media. I don't. I don't have much How about you? 
Um, I, I guess I could plug my small production company website, uh, www.messenger-studios.com. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And then I know you said this was uh, kind of your thesis film. Have you guys showed it at any other film festivals, or is this first? This is, I would say, this is probably the fourth uh, film festival oh, yeah. that it's been in, uh, if we're also including the, the college festival that they have at the end of the year. But it was, it was nominated as a finalist, so I, I, I am happy with uh, that happening. Um, but I also had it in West Nyack. There was also one in Brooklyn, which was like kind of more local to our area. And yeah, now this one. So. Well, I hope you guys continue your journey, and it was so nice talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, oh, thank you. you to it's your time. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah.